And good morning, Roger Penske. Great to see you. Well, Paul, <clears throat> thank you uh, for having me as part of your show. Uh, obviously, you and I have known each other for many years, and I think you were the one that helped me design the logo for uh, the Speedway business many years ago, correct? Yes, indeed. And uh, I think we even argued a little bit about that. That was kind of fun. <laughs> that was a switch, right? That's right. You, you won. <laughs> when you look at the Indianapolis 500, and you look at IndyCar, the series, and you look at IMS Productions, uh, do you see an opportunity to take the energy of that and further infuse that into Penske Corp and to your other businesses and vice versa? Take all the learnings and energy of your already well-spooled up businesses and bring learnings into the, uh, the sphere of the racing businesses that you've just acquired. Well, let's just step back. Uh, you know, racing has been a common thread you know, through our businesses for what, 50 years. Yeah. Think about it. Uh, uh, my first, you know, I went to Indy with uh, Mark Donahue and I was a Chevy dealer in Philadelphia and happened to sell a Corvette to a Mark, head of marketing at Sun Oil Company. First sponsorship, 250 bucks. So you can see. <laughs> come on, it's come a long way. That. <laughs> that was, you know, back in, in, the, in the late sixties, but it's been a common thread and it continues to be because we get uh, attracts a lot of interest. People want to work for the company, you know, not just because we're in racing or want to be a driver, but we've, we've used that to grow our brand. And you think about today with 321,000 trucks in the U S we're running, you know, think about that brand has been built, you know, through the racing and the consistency. And I think we continue and everything we do, we look at how can we lever, you know, our results and our performance on the racetrack, but also you tell our people, we don't wait. In racing, you can't wait till the next day to fix something. When we think about our customer and that customer experience, it's gotta be now, not yeah. later. Yeah, that's great to hear that and I agree. We have a saying at Racer, the customer owns us. Uh, you know, what we do, we do for them. Um, we never forget it. And I, I, I know that's how your business is run. Um, and, you know, I think that we have a lot of people watching us today that are in the racing business. I know your passion runs deep uh, for racing. People in racing, uh, many of them are your friends and, and uh, you're uh, a shining example of what can be done out of a racing uh, mindset and a racing background. Uh, I wanted to talk for a little bit, if you, if you don't mind, about uh, any advice you have for the whole community of racing as we get ready. We're on... Uh, you know, I think the, the first pace lap uh, uh, before we go green and uh, the restart of a lifetime here into 2021. What can you share? What are your thoughts for the, the businesses and, and people watching today? Well, I, I think that it's, it, I can't predict 2021, either can you, but we can plan. I think you're going to have to have different plans. We've got to plan 25, 50, 75, 100 percent fans at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. How can we continue to support our teams? Something that we have to do is in the position we're in. But as an entrepreneur or as, as a individual, you know, racing is deep. Uh, there's a lot of emotion. And I think what you've got to be sure is you take care of your people, the ones that are working for you on your race team, and also take care of this fan. I think, you know, with your reach with racer.com and other organizations has been key because we look at the Indy 500 and look at how much we were down on, on, our, on, our, on the race day, having it in August versus the Kentucky Derby, the, the Masters, and even these other big series. We were in good shape. It's because we stayed connected, whether it was e-racing. We've got to be able to pivot. And we're not sure how we've got to pivot for next year, but we're going to plan for that. And I think those are the things. I would plan a number of different scenarios. We just can't overnight react. Because if you run your business by anticipation, what are we going to do five laps from now? What are we going to do with our fuel economy? We want two tires. We want four tires. It's pretty simple in racing, but that's the same way I think about in our business today as we run them. So I think it's about planning. I think it's about being sure you got your arms around your people. One last question for you. Um, you know, you uh, when you've looked at everything you've done in this sport, you know, what is the most significant memory and the thing that you value the most out of the entire time you've been working in motorsport? 
there are, wow, that's a, that's a, that is a tough question. There's so, Paul, there's so many, they happen literally every week in racing. Mm-hmm. At any in any any weekend we're racing, we, we may be racing in three, four, five different places somewhere in the country or around the world. And so, uh, for me, the teamwork and the ability to overcome problems, obstacles, failures, and then climb back up, get in a groove, get the trajectory of a of a of a car, a team, a driver going the right way and then get back in the win- winter circle, get back to the top of the podium. To me, those are the moments, the whole process of that. And it cycles. When you're on top, you, you are working like crazy to stay there and keep the momentum. When you're not, you feel, you feel the responsibility uh, and to, to dig in and figure out root cause, why not, and, and then fix it and fix it fast. So for me, those experiences happen you know, throughout the season. There are certainly special moments at some of those races we talked about, whether it's the Daytona 500 or the Indianapolis 500 or the 24 Hours Le Mans that I will never forget. But for me, um, in every instance, I think about it and I think about the teams that were involved and what it took to get on top. And then importantly in racing, there's only one, there's only one winner every weekend in a race. So that means there's a lot of people didn't win. And so your ability to handle not winning by focusing the energy forward to the positive, how to fix it and how to get back on top. Uh, That cycle uh, is a must in racing and, and that process. uh, I love it. I love it. You, sir, are a racer. (laughs) There's no cure for that, by the way. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) That is a great answer. actually. You are too a racer. Uh, yes. And I, I, you know, I, uh, uh, that was very inspiring. And, uh, you know, back to my quote, we're in the inspiration business and you, sir, inspire me and, and the things you do and the, the people you work with are inspiring to me. And, and thank you for the friendship you've shown our, our company and, and my team over the years and, and the respect you've shown us. I really appreciated it. Uh, you're, very you're well. a, yeah. Paul, you're, you're, you're a friend of the industry and we have questions. We often call you. I've done it many times to mm-hmm. learn. Uh, we'll continue to do it. So thank you for holding this uh, forum over the week, uh, having having me here. I'm here representing our team. Um, it, it is about the team. There's so many people that help us do what we do every day. And so thank you for letting me represent everybody at Chevrolet, Cadillac, and General Motors here. And thanks for hosting this forum. It's great to be and with I, you. Thank you. And, and thank you for being what I wanted you to be, which was the final word on our sport. And you summed it up beautifully. You actually, your, your comments here at the very end were probably the most appropriate words we could close this spectacular week with. And, uh... There are two types of people, racers and everyone else. Racer Magazine is for those who believe that racing is a way of life. Racer embodies the excellence that defines a sport driven by passion, courage, and ingenuity. Get one year of both Racer's print and digital edition for only $39 with instant access to our entire digital issue archive. Subscribe now at info.racer.com.